thyroid definitely can affect your ability to lose weight. Um, uh, and so I, I would talk to your doctor, make sure that that's in order. But um, we know that even with thyroid dysfunction, it doesn't prevent you from losing weight completely, but it definitely makes things harder. So, you know, you want to make sure that all of those other things that can contribute are being addressed because listen, losing weight's difficult, guys. You have to deal with your biology, which resists their weight loss. You have to deal with your own individual risk. Some people are just going to have a harder time losing weight than others. And then you have to deal with other things that contribute. We know slack of sleep. We know things like undiagnosed sleep apnea. We know stress, depression, the modern environment in which we live. They all make it more difficult. And so if you have any one thing that's off, oftentimes that's enough to really make it difficult to lose weight. So um, I think what's so incredible about some of these newer drugs is that the way, the, way, the way they're able to address the biology, they're able to do so by affecting so many different systems. So it's not just affecting like one thing. It's not just suppressing your appetite. It's not just doing, they're able to correct the physiology in so many different ways um, that it makes it so much easier. So it, these drugs don't replace the hard work and the personal responsibility. That's what people get wrong. And that's like when I made the video with Dr. Brown um, the other day, people think of it as like this easy way out. That's not what it is at all. It's, it's a tool that people can use that allow them to be more consistent with the lifestyle, given all the considerations that I just mentioned. And if you're able to be more consistent, consistency is the name of the game. Um, if you're able to not have to worry about a lot of the struggle, about constantly being hungry, about feeling terrible when you're trying to diet, a lot of people just like feel awful. I've had a lot of patients try dieting any number of times, low carb, high carb, paleo, you know, blue zone, any number of things and just they, dieting sucks. Your body, your body resists your ability to, to diet effectively and it sometimes means it's going to make you feel depressed. It sometimes means it's going to make you feel hungry all the time make you kind of emotionally triggered a lot. Um, and a lot of the medications can kind of level you out so that when you're dieting, you're not like feeling miserable. And sometimes that's all people need to be able to successfully diet. Once again, the, the, the biggest key is, is being able to be consistent with the nutritional standpoint. Um, all these other things, they, they either add or subtract a little bit, but it's the nutrition that's by far and away the most important aspect. And so if you can really dial it in from that standpoint and the medications can make that uh, a sustainable approach for you, that's the medications doing its thing. So um, that's why they're, that's why they're so awesome, especially like the new drugs, like semaglutide is, you know, I, I just had a visit with a patient last week who she's on semaglutide now for the first few weeks. And she was just like, I can't believe I ever tried to lose weight without something like this as a support. And I'm, this is what she's telling me, you know, like I'm already a big fan. She doesn't have to convince me of semaglutide. And she's like, I just feel like, I feel like I can die and I'm not like dying. Like, <laughs> I'm not like miserable and like wanting to cry and like feeling terrible and, you know, being triggered by all the food that I'm all constantly surrounded by in our modern world. And so I, I think it's um, when you're able to have that perspective, and you don't look at it through this sort of antiquated lens, like medication is just an easy way out. It's just, you know, it's for the losers. It's for the people that don't want to put in the work. That's, that's just ignorance, you know? And so part of what I do is try to educate, not just other people like you all and, and show you that there are better ways and there's real treatment. It's to talk to other providers. I go around and lecture to other providers and say, Hey guys, what we were talking of, what we were taught in medical school about people's weight and the struggles with their weight, actually, that's not really what the science shows at all. And uh, the fact that we were told that people just need to diet harder and work out more, it's really not what's been shown to be effective. In fact, most people aren't effective just trying to do those things. You know, the vast majority of people, 90, 85, 90 percent of people who just try to diet and exercise to lose weight will gain the weight back within a year or two. So like with that data, we have it and it's, you know, uh, I think we need to start offering people real tools and, and, um, uh, treatments to, to help them manage. And I, I'm, listen, I'm not someone who says everyone needs to be on medication. Everyone should have surgery. It all needs to be personalized based upon someone's individual health risks, their preferences, 
um, you know, what if, what is their prior trial with trying to lose weight? Like if you can accomplish all your weight loss goals by making your own changes in your life and optimizing your, your environment and, com you know, committing to certain changes within your life, then great. Like good for you. Awesome. But not everyone's going to be able to do that. And we can appreciate the fact that people are different. Like that's, that's great. You know, and, and some people are going to be have a higher risk because of their genetics or because they've maintained a higher weight for a longer period of time. So their body becomes more entrenched into that body weight or they have more weight they need to lose than others and or they have more health risks, which will make them more difficult to lose weight. Like We can appreciate everyone's uniqueness and there's no reason we have to shame anyone for deciding they want to try medication, surgery you know, wanting to just try it through a new diet approach. Like that's all good. Everyone, you, sh you should appreciate everyone's uniqueness that way. So I don't know. That was my rant of the day, I think. <laughs>
you know, and it's all the stuff that is just fairy tale. No one gains 100 pounds in 30 days. You can't expect to lose it, which is even harder in a shorter amount of time. Like, so, you know, when you look at the weight trends, people gain weight over years. They typically gain the most amount of weight over the holidays. And that over the years of the the weight gain throughout the year, and then particularly around the holidays, that's when it just adds up over time. And then, you know, you get 100, before you know it, you're 100 pounds heavier, but that's been five, six, 10 years. So like, you can't expect yourself to lose 100 pounds in a small amount of time. And if you're mindset and your perspective is, well, I have to do it in 90 days. You're probably not going to be successful. I'll be honest. I would say that's the wrong approach to take. It took me two, two and a half years to lose 40 pounds, 40 pounds in two and a half years. There's some patients I meet with for the first time who, if I said, it's going to take you two and a half years to lose 40 pounds, they would laugh at me and walk out of my office. They would. And sometimes that's all you can do is, is, is try to be honest with people and tell them. Now, I'm not going to say everyone would be that slow. Uh, part of the reason it took me so long is I didn't have as much extra weight to lose. So the weight that I did have to lose, it's, it, it becomes harder when you don't have as much extra weight. But, um, but the, the point is you have to have perspective. If you don't have perspective, then all things are lost. What I can tell you is this, um, it is an incredibly difficult thing to do. The reason that I have 120 some thousand people follow me is validation that there are many people struggling with their weight. Um, and I've talked a lot about those reasons, um, has to do with the way that our world is set up, has to do with our biology, unfortunately, that we've inherited, has to do with medications has to do with the difficulty of being consistent more often than not. Um, all of those things. What I can tell you is this. There are real treatments. So depending upon your situation, it may be that you haven't found or haven't been introduced to the right treatment for you. That's a very real possibility. If it's not that, and you've tried a number of things, maybe you've had surgery, maybe you've tried medication, I don't know what your situation is. It also may be the fact that you're not in a place right now where losing weight's the best option for you. I'll be very frank. I talk to people about that. That despite sometimes our intention and our hope that right now is the best time to lose weight, sometimes it's not. Sometimes we're not in a place emotionally, psychologically, where that makes sense. And that's okay. Um, I know that's sometimes a hard thing to accept, but sometimes that's the best thing. Um, and why is that? Why is that okay? Why is that the case? Man, God, losing weight's hard. I'm going to go back to that time and time again. It might be one of the hardest things to do. To lose weight and keep it off might be one of the single hardest things to do, biologically speaking, because of how many things have to go right and how much you have going against you. How much you have working against you every single day. I mean, in many ways, you have to treat it like you're an addict. And I mean that in not a way to um, denigrate the addict's experience or someone who has an addiction or compulsive behavior, but in so far as your biology that is resisting your weight loss, the world in which we live in that is set up and it is directed to you to consume is at every point in your life and every time trying to get you to gain weight or at least not lose weight. So to lose weight, you have to be mindful almost all the time throughout the day, every single day, seven days a week, 365. Knowing that you're human, we know that that's going to be impossible to, to be perfect. It's just, that's that's impossible. We are fallible and, and you will slip, you will be stressed someday and not be perfect about your diet, you will take some time off, you'll be on holiday, you'll have a birthday, things will happen. But you have to be more often than not very consistent. And that is so difficult. And so when I say it's okay, and may not be the right time for you to lose weight, it's it's understanding that context of how difficult it is, why we 
also then look at other treatment options, knowing how difficult it is. And um, yeah, and I, I just think you have to consider all that. You have to have perspective on the whole process. So, you know, I, I hope that is helpful. I'm sorry you have been, um, you, f you feel frustrated and that you feel like you're losing hope. And so if, if any of what I just said is of any value to you, great. Um, I don't know if it is, but that those were just kind of, that was my stream of conscious on it in the moment.